Is everybody practicing their social distancing? What? Nice. Keep it 1.5 meters, guys. Good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. Time to get up. Camped here on the side of the river. I only got about four hours of sleep last night. We got a nine hour hike. Just gonna try to shove as much calories in my face as quick as possible and then uh, then run up the river. That's the Erzeshan River. It's about five hours up and normally people will camp there, but we're gonna come down the same day. Uh, we're gonna try tube down. Hope that works. Uh, if not, we'll be hiking. All right, let's do it. Right. That's going to be interesting to tube down. Got this kind of cave here, about what is it, an hour and a half up? Yeah. And uh, we smell sulfur. We're in the right river. That's good because that'd be really embarrassing if we were <laughs> in the wrong river. Let's cross here, it looks the, the easiest. We're in the Butterfly Valley. Is that really the name or are you making it up? We're in a valley and there's butterflies. Oh, okay. The two rivers are a different color. It's like going right down the line here. Why is it so red? Is that... That's iron. That's in the rocks. It's not the water. It's just on the rocks that are oxidizing. Okay. And these, these two rivers, they're not mixing because they're different temperatures. Oh, no. This is super cold. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's just a different river. It's probably coming from higher up over a shorter distance. Oh, my goodness. This is the, this river here is flowing over a lot of rocks that are exposed to the sun. Yeah. So the, the ground heats up and uh, yeah, but yeah, this was freezing. This one here, I'm pretty sure it's the same as up there. It's just, it's filtering through broken rocks and that's why it's getting this color. All right, so CDC says practice social distancing. One and a half kilometers apart. Wait here. My shirt. Have you ever been in a situation where there's like heavy water flow or like flash flood out here? Well, I haven't been in this particular river before, but this, this particular river is actually flood prone. You can get really big, heavy rains in there. It's so wide that at this point in the river, you know, you'd be okay, but you get to situations where it'd be very difficult to cross. You could always just sit and wait it out. I've had to wait out flooding before. So it's not a big deal. It takes an hour for the water to suddenly flood. And generally, after it stops raining, it'll take another hour for it to to go down. You know, in any flood situation, that you always want to just find high ground. If it starts raining hard and it's not a flood yet and you're close to the entrance, you know, then you can leave. But if you notice the water level starting to rise, you should get out. And in some rivers, it can actually be flash floods where it's like kind of like a little wave going down the river. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be in a big river like this, um, but places like uh, Pingling in uh, New Taipei City, where you have a lot of really short rivers, and then the, all those short rivers, they come, to, they come together sort of at the same time. Then that creates a sudden uh, surge in water in water level. Generally in the south, it's a lot less, less often. It's mostly just, you know, in those areas. But you can see on the map by looking at the distances of rivers. So it's like, if you had a long river that's close here, plus a lot of short rivers that are farther away, mm -hmm. the total distance of all those rivers might be the same. So it means that the, the water all gets to this point at the same time. It's not common here in Taiwan at all. Uh, it's, it's very common in the Midwest, in the US, yeah. where you have like these much bigger rivers and you get a massive thunderstorms that are like, you know, 50 miles away or something. And you can't even see it. It's like sunny here. We have a massive thunderstorm up there. And you know, these really big areas, the uh, drainage basins. So in the US, you get crazy flash floods where it's like the rivers just dry completely. And then all of a sudden there's like, you know, a wall of timber and debris like coming down the river. In most cases, you could outrun them. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't recommend it, but... <laughs> you Finding see, high ground would be better. Uh, yeah, always the best thing to do is just to find a high ground. Also, the river is just going to go on forever and eventually you're going to get tired. Maybe you can run for a little while. <laughs> Once I was stuck in Mainong, in about an hour, the water level rose by like a meter and a half, almost two meters. It went from a river that was smaller than this to like just a raging flood. We 
managed to get out of the river in time, but the flood was covering the road and we couldn't drive out. We had to wait it out. We went to this like farmhouse we thought was abandoned, but actually there was like a naked farmer there chilling out. <laughs> and then he put on some clothes and made us some really good tea. Does it normally take you to get and upload a video after you've done a hike. Well, it depends. If we go do another river trace tomorrow, oh, right. then nothing's getting done. Uh, and then if we do another river trace the day after that, then still nothing's getting done. So uh, between one week and say three months. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm about to post some videos that I filmed last September. Did that ever make you jealous? Yeah, I was a jerk. I'm sure I deserved it. You did knock me over and I lost my front teeth, right? I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cooled down a bit. It's cold. <laughs> it's really blown away by how beautiful this river is. Guys, I think that uh, we're walking onto the cliff now. There's a chance of falling rocks. I think we should go helmets on. Safety first. We're getting to the sort of more canyony part of the river and we're walking next to these cliffs. The chance that rocks could fall down, so uh, wearing some head protection, uh, it's always a good idea. Typically the, the difference between really expensive helmets and really cheap helmets is the weight. Um, but my opinion, weight is very important because if it's heavy or uncomfortable, you're not going to carry it with you. And so, uh, you know, the most important thing is that you have it with you and you wear it when you need to. These ones are quite expensive, but they're about 185 grams. You know, you can get ones that are a lot cheaper for you know, about 250 grams when you go to the real cheap ones they're like 400 grams and we're 450 and that's just not comfortable on your head it's not comfortable to uh carry your bag either all right so uh, we've been hiking for over four hours now my legs are a little sore how are yours doing Okay, but I'm ready for that hot spring. He's okay. How many by you have you been to? All of them. All of them. Guys. How, what about you? 80. 80? Jesus. I've been to... I don't want to say it. No, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> like six or something? I don't know. I don't keep count because the number's so low. I'm, I'm clearly the weakest, the weakest one in this group. Not in the river. Not in the river. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm going to kick your ass on the way down. I'll have my revenge. This is an awesome shot. There we go. I think we gotta go back. And then on the other side, it's still another one of these. Go look over there, though. I don't know. Getting closer to that really pointy peak that you like. Oh yeah. Oh, I can smell it. I smell it too. Watch your feet. It might be super hot. I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's hot. Woohoo! Feels that's good. Oh right right yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah. This stuff's gonna be really hot. Yeah, watch your step. Don't, don't touch this. Can we even get across here? Oh, it's not bad. Could you lie down in it and have it flow over you? That'd be awesome. Wow. It's really hot. It's coming out from these rocks. Oh, here it is. It's bubbling out of the ground. 
hot springs really great. It's like a hot river. That whole pool is super hot. It'd be nice at night. Uh, or maybe it's too hot, I don't know. And then it comes down here. All of this water flowing right here is really hot. You gonna find a good one? I think this one's okay. Yeah, over there is the best. What, the, the tarp? Oh, right over there. Where it flows into the river. Yeah, yeah right there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's okay when you're all the way in it, sort of? Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, oh. The trick is to put your whole body in. If you just put your legs in, then it's just way too hot. I think I didn't really notice it because I have these neoprene thingies oh, on it. So. Protection. Yes. <laughs> Clever guy. So, Corey, what you doing? This is so ghetto. <laughs> why, why are you doing with your hands? I forgot a spoon. For the second time today, just trying to shove as many calories as I can into my mouth as fast as possible and then go on a long hike. What did you go with? You got nuts? Yeah, I got trail mix. Trail mix? Mostly nuts? Lots of chocolate. High, oh, lots of, oh, there's lots of chocolate in there, okay. There's, there's so the high, pecans. high density of fat and sugar, right? Yeah. All right. What'd you go with? Got the nutrition biscuits from 7-Eleven. Okay. All right. Staple. Yeah, so you planned, planned for this trip? Jerky. Yeah, didn't buy anything at the last minute? Nope. This is from the giant stockpile at home. Okay, <laughs> yeah, from Halloween. M&M's, fruit snacks. So you also have basically... Sugar. sugar well, you, where's your fat? You just have sugar. Yeah, the chocolate, I guess, has a little fat. You have some protein in the uh, meat. It's pretty lean, yeah. yeah. Protein. Protein yeah. and sugar. No wonder you're so skinny. And no wonder you're so... Wait, this is not... No, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, so I'd just like to say this video is sponsored by me. And my shirts. You can get yours in the link below. We have orange and black and they're super comfortable. You comfortable? It's great. Feels great. You sunburned? Not at all. No. And it looks sexy. So go get yours. The link's down at the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They'll protect you from the sun. They don't protect you from standing on loose rocks. Done any hiking? Very often. All right, so you've all done- All the time, almost every weekend. You've done uh, all 100 by you there. Yeah. You've done the PCT, all PCT, of it. How long did that take? That was about a five month adventure. You know how many kilometers it is? 4,200 kilometers. All right, so, so you hiked <laughs> 4,200 kilometers. Any other long trails you did? No, that's about it. So everybody, comment down below. If you think this guy should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> no way. No way? No way. You don't want to end up like me, drunk, lying in a hot spring, <laughs> by myself, crying. <laughs> Is that why we came today? Yeah. Just to make sure that didn't happen. I like to go up the river and, you know, have a good cry. That part wasn't captured on film, but it did happen. Edited it out. Look at this rock. It's like so out of place. White, 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 green, red. These two angles are the same, yeah. but these are compression lines, so they should be vertical. I mean, they should be horizontal. So it must have like fallen. Okay. It must have fallen into this angle and then been cut. Like the water just sliced right through it, like a hot knife through butter. This river is full of big rocks and steep drops. It is not exactly ideal for tubing, or maybe it's perfect for tubing and the challenges are what makes life fun. Join us next as I test my hypothesis. Is it faster and easier to tube? All right, buddy. I'll see you down there. Woo! Subscribe if you want to get notifications.